Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we are back with CWL Day 2. This time against Ryle's Persian, or maybe Rial's Persian, something like that. And we're going in late again, so I only have one base left to attack. So let's take a look at it. Remember this is kind of a common style of a Tunnel 12 anti 3 star base. And although Tunnel 13 is very similar to Tunnel 12, the new defenses are extremely important to place correctly. So on this base, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to have a queen walk starting at this barracks over here, wrapping around to a jump spell that I'm going to place near the wizard tower. And then that'll take care of this area. And then hog riders, basically from the town hall area, of course. Since town hall, since in the clan war league, we really need to get the two star. So, queen charge hogs. That's the basic plan. So let's train up the correct army. And while that's going, we will look at a replay. This here is from Matty J, earlier in the war. Yet another of this hybrid strategy, Hog Miner. So I've really been a, on a kick with this strategy lately. Definitely my favorite for now. And I think it's the best skill-based attack in 2020 so far. So what you're trying to do with the Queen Charge is you're trying to get a couple of key defenses and a couple of heroes if you need it if you want to but you don't really need it what you need is pathing so what he's going to do with that information is that he's going to have the queen charge go into the town hall which is protruding a little bit and then he has the king for funnel and on the other side he'll have on the other side meaning by the siege barracks by the siege workshop is going to have the siege barracks going there to funnel that side so he's going to have a thin pathway for these miners to go through towards the eagle and towards the rest of the base he deals with this very light cc pretty quickly and heads into the middle of the base where he encounters the other two heroes that matter so he's taking out all three heroes that are sort of alive and defending the base. Or not quite, now he does. And this is where, this is when he drops all the miners and the hogs. So they go through that thin pathway. And the, the wizards are getting attacked a little bit. So I think one thing we could change about this strategy overall, and not just this particular attack, is we could add a couple of tank troops and to the siege barracks and not just the P.E.K.K.A. So and that'll save the wizards a little bit, but in this case he has so many hogs left that by the time, and by the time the CC hogs came out, they were able to protect the wizards as well. So just, the, just something to think about. This is an overwhelming triple by Mandy J. And now, let's get back to the attack. So, unfortunately, it looks like no one online has a max siege barracks. So, instead, I'm going to have to look at the base again and see if I really need to use a power potion, or if I should just use a stone slammer instead. So, here's our plan. Funnel this elixir collector. Queen by the barrack. She will walk towards the air defense and then over to the left we'll of the king by the dark barracks and he'll funnel this way and he'll survive for quite a long time but not quite enough to get to the bar uh, barbarian king jump on the wizard tower will allow the queen to get to the queen and the royal champion and eventually to the eagle as well so At that point, we're going to want some hogs down to tank the expo, because otherwise the queen will have no way to survive long enough to take out the eagle anyway. 
So, we can do a couple of things about that. We could drop the hogs early on this side. And then I think that's the best way to do that. So drop the hogs early on this side. And then by the time the town hall should be active, we may want to have a couple of archers or other kind of troops to take out a little bit of percent around the base somewhere out of reach of other defenses so we can get that town hall activated pretty early. So things that could make this attack go wrong is maybe a huge Tesla farm on this side but that should be okay with loons and a baby dragon or Tesla farm on this side which is the most likely so in that case I would just drop more hogs here than I would without it and it could be up here but that wouldn't be a huge problem I could just drop the stone slammer or something there so I think we're ready to do this okay we have our army ready let's give it a shot Three, two, one. Loon and baby dragon. Queen down. Coco loon. Healers. King. Wizard. Queen probably needed that rage spell. King is tanking for the cannon, that's very good. Jump spell. Freeze the ending queen. Rage and Poison was a little bit early, but that's fine. Minion for the pups. But you got all the pups in the poison spell. That's very good. Ready with the poison or the free spell for whatever else comes next. Let's do the queen ability instead for right there. And there's the Tesla farm. Okay, we need some more percent. Warden needs to catch up. Okay, hopefully that Warden ability stays on for long enough to take out the Gigabomb. Tesla farm up top. Queen got roasted by those Expos as I predicted. Not the best. This is going to be really close if we can do it. Drop a loon when the archer tower is tanked. We don't have any outside structures. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So that was Queen Charge Hogs. I was a little bit sketchy in the middle there, but we were able to get it done, even with the level 15 Royal Champion. But I don't think that would have worked on a completely maxed out base. So let's look through that attack again, and see what we could have improved to maybe triple a max out base. So for starters, the this base wasn't even close to maxed out, to be honest. But it was the only base I had left, uh, that they had left, that nobody had, uh, that nobody had flagged before. The Expos weren't maxed, the... I can't remember if the Slingshots were maxed, scatter shots. The Expos aren't maxed, the Inferno, the Geek Inferno is. But that's barely a problem because you usually use the warden ability over there. 
drop the jump spell. Jump spell right when the queen needs it. And that's good. Because even with a level 4 jump spell, it's possible that the jump will expire before you really want it to. We hit every pup with the poison spell, th so that was very good. Didn't even need the minion. Barb King didn't quite get the enemy Barb King as I thought. Healers didn't quite get targeted, but it probably should have dropped the hogs like about five seconds ago. But I don't think it w that would have been enough to get away from the ground bow. So I'm not entirely sure what... Oh, I see. So the ground bow retargeted back to the queen, and that's the problem. So we had the ground bow, we had the scatter shot, and we had maybe another expo over here, targeting the queen all at the same time, before she was able to take out the eagle. We saved the stone slammer for the tesla farm at the top, as we predicted. And that worked out kind of well. Free spell got the Inferno Tower, Expo, and Warden. I guess that was okay, but... Yeah, I guess that was okay. And then right at the end, the Royal Champion sort of clutches it. And that's the end of the base. So, that was Queen Charge Hogs. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out.